Hello everyone and we thank you for joining us for the 27th Mounts Weather Weekly Weather News. Today is Saturday, November 12th, year 2011. Now we're going to recap w with what occurred with Winter Storm Alfred uh, in the past couple weeks in a, in a moment. But first, your Channel 3 early morning 7 day forecast. Today, Saturday, November 12th, partly and mostly sunny, breezy and seasonably cool. Highs ranging between 51 and 56 degrees. Tomorrow, Sunday, partly sunny, breezy and milder. High of 60 inland and 58 at the shore. Monday, mostly cloudy with a few showers possible. A high of 65 inland, 62 at the shore. Tuesday, mostly cloudy, mild showers likely. High of 62 inland, 61 at the shore. Wednesday, partly sunny and breezy. High of 56 inland, 57 at the shore. Thursday, partly sunny and cooler. High of 52 inland, 53 at the shore. Friday, November 18th, partly sunny, breezy, and chilly. High 46 inland and 48 at the shore. Okay, now we're going to recap Winter Storm Alfred a little bit here. Okay, now the first thing, you ever wonder how Channel 3 named their winter storms? As most of you know, WFSB Channel 3 names each uh, names winter storms based w upon whether the storm reaches a certain criteria. And the first storm of the season which occurred just before Halloween met the criteria to be a named storm and they named it Alfred. But why they named it Alfred is actually pretty interesting. We named Storm Alfred after Alfred Hitchcock. Since this storm will, did, occur just before Halloween, Alfred Hitchcock is the director of mystery and horror classics. Perfect for Halloween, says meteorologist Melissa Cole at Channel 3. Okay, and now we're going to talk a little bit about power outages. Just as residents were getting used to having the lights on again, more power outages are being reported around the state. On Friday morning, this past Friday morning, about 3,000 people in Cheshire lost electricity and 3,000 more in Vernon. In Newington, the Pheasant Run neighborhood also lost power on Friday. High winds may be to blame. Because see, normally the winds are talking about are like between 20, 30, and 40 miles an hour. Normally, that wouldn't be considered a very big deal as far as power outages, but because the trees were weakened so much by Winter Storm Alfred and the ground is very saturated, it causes the trees and everything to be much weaker so that any type of wind like that, that we normally wouldn't consider to be a big deal, is a big deal as far as things falling and flying through the air and knocking down some electrical wires. Okay, and in Cheshire, the outages were blamed on a fallen tree in Southington near the border of the town, which may have been knocked down by strong winds. Power was restored in Cheshire by early afternoon, by early Friday afternoon. Governor Daniel Malloy is warning residents that many more power outages could occur during the day because of high winds, possibly, possibly gusts of 40 miles an hour, like I just said. Connecticut Light and Power suspect, suspects the, cusp, the power outages are due to high winds, the utility company said it was, has brought in 200 extra tree workers to address the problems. Okay, and now, Malloy formally requests major disaster declaration. Governor Daniel Malloy formally requested a major disaster declaration from President Barack Obama in response to Winter Storm Alfred. If the declaration is granted, it would bring in additional federal financial relief to Connecticut cities and towns impacted by the rare and historic storm that plunged more than... 830, 100,000 utility customers in the dark. Malloy's request was sent after the Federal Emergency Management Agency and the State Department of Emergency Services and Public Protection confirmed that the estimated expenses met FEMA established thresholds in seven of the state's eight counties. Initial damage estimated eligible costs are more than 27 million. That's a lot of money that this winter storm has caused. Although, New London County did not meet the FEMA thresholds for a major, major declaration. Municipalities in that county are still eligible for federal financial assistance for up to 72 hours, that's three days, of debris removal and emergency protective measures. This aid would provide additional help to municipalities, state agencies, and certain, certain eligible nonprofit organizations that were severely impacted by the historic October snowstorm, Malloy said. I am hopeful that President Obama will act quickly on my request. On Halloween, Obama approved Malloy's request for an emergency declaration in all eight counties of the state which provided direct financial assistance. Okay, now 
a hello to WX Media today. And some of today's information can be found on www.wfsb.com. Okay. And we hope you join us next week for the 28th Mass Weather Weekly Weather News. Until then, you can check back on my website for continuous weather updates 24-7. Early warning, conmweather.blogspot.com. If you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, you can email me at mattsweather1 at AOL.com. We'll see you next week.